All right, team, so we're back, of course, talking about some Final Fantasy VII Remake. And today, we're starting out on a bit of a somber tone because we did lose one of our own, I think, today. Brad Venable, who's a prolific voice actor for anime and video games, died recently. I think today, potentially. I don't know exactly. I don't, we don't know the cause of death as of right now, at least last I checked. Now, I'm not sure if he has any credited roles because when I look it up, all I can find is additional voices. So he probably voiced a bunch of random NPCs and things like that. And, of course, if you try to look up him and remake together on like google like you just come across his death and stuff like that so i don't know exactly who or what he voiced in remake but he's one of our own that sucks i don't know him by name i know very little voice actors in general by name but i've probably heard his voice in other games and what little anime i do watch i probably heard his voice somewhere because he's kind of been everywhere a little bit it sucks too because if you go back on his twitter just like a couple of days ago he was tweeting like normal which makes me wonder like what how he died because like was it like a health thing that he just wasn't you know talking about i don't see anything on twitter about him like being sick or under the weather or anything was it like a tragedy like a car wreck or something i don't know man like it just seems like it came out of nowhere but if by chance any of you out there happen to know like the characters that he might have voiced a remake it'd be nice if you guys could put that in the comments below so we can check it out Anyways, on to today's video. It's something I've been wanting to talk about for the last couple of videos, but I kept putting it off and we kept talking about other things. It's something I've seen somebody share on Reddit, of course. It's about Unreal Engine 5. Now, the interview itself is absolutely massive and full of a lot of technical shit when it comes to the game development side of things that we obviously do not need to read. Now, of course, you can if you want to. The interview will be linked in the description below. It's just it's not important for what we're discussing. But naturally, of course, there's one part that we want to focus on, and it's about them trying to make the jump from Unreal Engine 4 to 5 a lot easier to the point that... Anybody developing their games right now in Unreal Engine 4 can kind of just bring it over to Unreal Engine 5 when that drops later this year. Epic is working to make that jump less intimidating to creators. It will allow projects to transition from UE4 to UE5, Pin Warren tells us, so that if you're not planning to ship your game in 2021, you can begin development in UE4 and then continue in UE5 to leverage all its additional features. We're hoping to make that transition as smooth as possible, he says, pointing to the fact that many of Epic's new tools, such as its VFX system, Niagara, are now out of beta and ready to be used in full production in UE4 so that developers can figure out how they might best augment their next-gen games. The idea is that moving your project from UE4 to UE5 will take about the same time and effort as a couple of version upgrades in UE4, 4.20 to 4.24 perhaps. Working on making any code API changes that we made a manageable change. So you won't have to completely rewrite your game code or game logic. Most of that is just coming to work with UE5's APIs as well. And of course how this all pertains to Remake and why we're having this discussion is that Remake Part 1 was made in Unreal Engine 4. And since they're going to allow you to be able to transition your work from 4 to 5, we've got to ask the question about whether or not Part 2 is going to be in Unreal Engine 5. Now a lot of people in this Reddit post seem to think that because Unreal Engine 5 isn't dropping until near the end of 2021, that it's not possible at all for Part 2 to be on Unreal Engine 5, which doesn't make any sense because as we just discussed, the whole entire point of that Reddit post and this video is that they can transition the work from 4 to 5, like more or less seamlessly. There's probably a lot of technical stuff to it, but more or less seamlessly. So the release date thing is irrelevant. The only way it would pertain to this conversation at all is if Remake Part 2 was dropping this year. You know, before the release date of Unreal Engine 5, then you could be like, yeah, there's no way it's going to be in Unreal Engine 5, but the likelihood is that Part 2 is not coming out until 2022 or later, probably mid-2022 or later. And 2022 is like the most likely earliest that we could see part two. More than likely it's going to be late 2022, maybe early 2023. But let's say for the sake of conversation that it is coming out, let's say summer 2022. And this doesn't drop until the end of 2021 or late 2021. Would there be any point for them to transition to Unreal Engine 5? I'd assume probably not. If, if the game's gearing up for release already, there'd be no point in it. But the more realistic scenario is that by the time that Unreal Engine 5 releases... Remake Part 2 is still going to be, you know, a year or more out from release. Like, there's still be in development on Remake Part 2, so there could be some merit to them wanting to switch over to Unreal Engine 5 to take advantage of its features. It kind of comes down to how easy that transition is going to be when it comes to swapping from 4 to 5, but also the fact that they modified Unreal Engine 4 for Remake, and would that affect them trying to transition from 4 to 5? Something else I think is noteworthy and worth discussing is that I thought that Unreal Engine 5 was going to be something that was next-gen exclusive, so, you know, PS5 and Series X and beyond and stuff like that. But they actually talked about it whenever they did the reveal of it at the time when that, this article was made. It was like summer of 2020, so the next-gen consoles weren't even out yet. That Unreal Engine 5 was going to be for current-gen and next-gen, so PS4 and Xbox One and PS5 and Series X. And I thought it was worth pointing out because it's a conversation we have quite a bit. It's something I try to get across to people all the time. This is a brand new groundbreaking engine dropping at the end of 2021, but it's still going to be supporting PS4 and Xbox One, right? And while I mentioned that, and it's something we talked about in our last video, is that a lot of people seem to think that, like, when a new gen console comes out, like, they just stop making games for, I guess, the older gen for some reason, but that's just simply not the case. PS4 and Xbox One will still be supported. It's being supported with a brand new engine by the end of this year. 
So when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two or whatever the subtitle for that game is going to be called, they could use Unreal Engine 5 if they want to, and it still could drop on PS4 and then inevitably you know, PC and Xbox One. And I know some people out there are going to scoff and roll their eyes at the prospect of Part 2 coming out on PS4. How dare they? That's ancient technology at this point. But again, as we talked about recently, the PlayStation 4 platform, the, the old-gen platform, is perfectly capable of making large, fantastic games. It's not like, again, it's not like it's an N64. I don't understand what people, or the idea of PS4 is just trash technology or something. I don't know where this comes from. So Square Enix does want to release Part 2 on you know the older gen platforms, which I think they should, at least with Part 2. Part 3, I could see, again, as we talked about a plethora of times, could be next-gen only. And that's, I'm perfectly fine with Part 3, but I think Part 2 needs to take advantage of that massive audience on PS4. For but if Square Enix does want to drop it on PS4, they have a new engine they can take advantage of by the end of this year, and I think they should. That would be the best thing they could do. If they want to keep it on the older gen platforms, take advantage of the new engine that's out there. I feel like people seen like the texture pop in issue when it came to remake and thought that like the PS4 just couldn't handle it, but it was like an engine thing, wasn't it? Something to do with like either within the PS4 itself or within the Unreal Engine. It was just a weird bug or something. It had nothing to do with like the PS4 cannot load this ungodly game that is remake. The remake's a, not really a groundbreaking game. It's pretty standard, if anything. And I mean that with love. Like it's not like a massive game. It's pretty linear. There's not a whole lot that we're doing throughout the story of the game. There's not like an expansive world to explore. Like it's you know I don't I still don't to this day other than cutscenes and dialogue. I still don't understand how it's a hundred gigabyte fucking game. I've played games with significantly smaller download sizes that offer vastly more content in every aspect. It's just it's strange to me. I just don't get it. But of course, my dudes, that's pretty much the video. I want to pass off to you guys. When it comes to Unreal Engine 5 and re the remake project, do you think that Part 2 is going to come out with Unreal Engine 4 or 5? I think it's very dependent on what the release date of Part 2 is going to be. By the time the Unreal Engine 5 drops at the end of this year, Remake Part 2 will have been in full development for about a year and a half. So it just kind of depends on how far along they are at that point, how much development time is left, etc., etc. Other than my dudes, that is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys only want to update more Final Fantasy VII Remake content. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at DashingDavidYT. I'm my Discord. The links to my social networks are in the description. And in the outro. Later, guys. I used to care what people thought. But now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Rogaine, or leave it. Like Cobain.